All right, welcome back. We're at part two of the skull engraving series, which wasn't supposed to be a series in part one. Man, I just don't know what happened. I was using my A10 Mini recording to disc, and I guess it just stopped and I didn't notice, or the light was on and I thought it was recording and it wasn't. Either way, it sucked losing all that footage. So, I have another demo prepared, so I'm gonna try to do part two or the second half of that video all over again and um, I'm just going to run through it real quick and show you exactly how I got the dark mark on the skulls with the fiber laser. The most important thing is using the Brilliance laser ink. It's going to want to focus on me. There we go. But there's your Brilliance laser ink. This is the black metal spray. There's a coupon code in the description with my affiliate link. Uh, save you some money on this. This is now out. I need to order more. So I will be doing that tomorrow. Depending on when you see this video, it could have been yesterday or weeks ago or months ago. Who knows? But I restock. That's the important point. All right. In order to do this skull, I'm going to use my 80 watt fiber laser and what I want to show you is the transformer. I like this all-in-one format laser. I prefer it. Some people hate it, but I like it and I like the ability that it has to rotate the tower and also extend the galvo head out. So it adds a lot more versatility into objects that you can engrave because you can have some increased height just by rotating that tower and get the odd, odd shaped objects and that kind of thing. So I'm going to show you that. Get a, get this uh, framed up with the graphic that I'm going to put on the back of this skull and we'll just get that started and get this video over hopefully really quickly. Alright, before we go back to the light bird screen, I want to show you focusing real quick using a focal stick. With this extra height, I can actually do focus with a 400 millimeter lens but that's going to put us about midway as far up on the sides of that skull I want to go so that's about as far I need to go up just a little bit but we'll go from there and see what happens so here in Lightburn this is a graphic that I'm going to put on the back of it and I'm going to scrunch it up just a little bit and make it not quite as wide and then reframe it and see how it looks. And as you can see, the back of that skull is prepped with Brilliance laser, laser ink. So it, uh, it's a white spray, but it'll help achieve a dark mark. And that looks to be about where I want it. So we're going to see how this turns out. I'm going to use my settings that I just came up with just for this video so this is the first iteration of fiber laser settings for brilliance laser ink and bone 1500 speed 70 percent power 500 frequency 200 q pulse width line interval of 0 0.042 for the 300 millimeter lens and this will run three passes and if I change this to field course mode, we'll see how that looks. And I think it's going to look pretty good. So let's aim our fume extraction. Now let's aim our fume extraction over here near the skull. So we'll pick that up. And make sure fan's running on high. It is. The fans on high, fume extraction's running. We are ready to run the job, so let's switch over to laser camera and hit start. I found that the three passes really sets the engraving into the bone. It's nice and deep and leaves detail. Once everything's cleaned up, it ends up looking really nice. 
All right, now we've got that engraved. Let's switch back over to live and see if there's any other graphics we want to add below that. I really think a spider web would look cool below it. I don't know if that'll fit, but I think the other one will. So I'm going to try that. Let's move it up and center it onto the other graphic and then we can add a few of these embellishments if we want. Let's just frame that and see how it looks. Alright, that spider web is going to be way too big. <clears throat> we just need to shrink this down. All right, that's looking really good. All right, I added two more little graphics. Let's frame those and see how they look. All right, I think that's going to look good. Let's just go ahead and run those two extra graphics. Okay, we're back here in Lightburn. I added two little embellishments here. We have the two hearts and the web, and I'm just going to go ahead and run those and see how they turn out. So let's frame it one last time and get ready to hit start. That's looking good, so I'm going to hit start. Now just keep in mind, I did run this, uh, it's mostly out of focus, and still getting a good, good mark on that, back of that skull. Okay, I just grabbed this off of the laser. There's a close-up view. Let me get the brilliance wiped off of it. I have a wet microfiber here. Just wipe it off and see how it turned out. It's a little lighter than in some spots, but that is because it was ran out of focus in order to get this extreme curve. You can see how curved that is from that angle. But I'm still happy with it. It's going to be the back of it. You're not really going to see it, but it looks good. So that's what you can do with Brilliance Laser Ink. It does rub off very easily. You can see just where I grabbed it with my thumb and finger that I already took some of that spray off of there. So it does rub off very easily. And to clean it, all you have to do is run it under the water and it rinses right off. So it's very cool. So let me run this under water, get all of the stuff off of it. And then I'll show this to you, and then I'll get the deer skull and show that to you on camera as well. All right, we're back with the skull cleaned up. Still a little wet, but the front looks really cool. I'm happy with that. And we have the back. That looks pretty neat. Let me see it from all different angles. So I'm very happy with that. What you missed in the other video that didn't get recorded um, I did all of this with the UV so all this was done with the UV exclusively except for this back part which we just did on the fiber here's what you missed that didn't record this piece here I did with the fiber laser and also here on the cheeks. That piece was done with the fiber laser. And this piece was done with the fiber laser. And also the engraving on the bottom was done with the fiber laser. So these four areas, one, two, three, and bottom, 
we're done with the fiber laser using Brilliance Laser Ink. So now you can get a good view of that. But I think these look cool. I hope you learned something from this. I'm trying to make this second part a little bit quicker. Uh, you've got the starter settings. That's a good place to start and move on from there. But Brilliance Laser Ink, link is in the description. And uh, there's a link for that Panavice Jr. in there as well. Have any questions, please leave me a comment. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you to my patrons for helping support this channel and keeping it going and helping me buy supplies like the Brilliance Laser Ink. I do appreciate it. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night.